I'm back. It's the day before I go to Monaco for the PokerStars Championship. I know I've been away a while, I've got a lot to tell you, a lot's been going on, but first, I need to pack. Pretty much all set. It is Friday, today we're going to Monaco, we're in a little bit late, classic. I'm not going to be too like, you know, down or whatever, but I did want to touch a little bit about what I want to do with the channel, how it started, what happened. Um, so I came up with the idea in November time to start a YouTube channel and I was super motivated, started making videos, was absolutely loving it, the feedback was great, I was really proud of what it was and basically it just came at like a pretty horrific personal time probably one of the most like whirlwind like kind of just shitty couple of months it could have come in really um, and trying to make YouTube videos during that time proved like pretty difficult not impossible I managed to get a couple out but I didn't really want to like make some videos where I'm just like you know all like dreary and like down and it's like, I didn't want to like fake being super positive either. So like the couple of days I felt okay, I, started, I tried to make a video, but on like a weekly basis, it made it just so much more difficult. And it actually made me think there's other people who put content out there and make videos so often and like they must have shit going on sometimes. It must be really hard to keep forcing positivity. But I would say, Time has helped a lot. I don't really want my personal life all over like all the details on social media and stuff so I'm not really going to go into it but we're over like most of the hump of it now. I hope, trying to hopefully see the other side but yeah I just wanted to touch on that and a fucking lot has happened since I've kind of, I've like gone deep in everything I've played as well and tiltingly I've not been vlogging it um, but I'm going to go back a little bit, try and talk you through that but for now Uber's about to be here and it's been nice being back in London for a little bit, but as usual, we're back to that suitcase life. <laughs> Okay, we checked in. Needs to just quickly go through security. And guess who just texted me? Sammy Grinder, Sam Grafton. One of the funniest guys in the UK poker scene. Funnily enough, we're on the same flight, so go and meet him now. We got a little travel mate today. Turns out Sammy was on the Gatwick flight, not Heathrow, a bit of confusion, but hopefully gonna meet him at the airport now. Grab the bags, over that away, and then get the chopper over to Monaco. Get to the hotel, and it's actually 2K today, gonna go late reg. So let me just grab the bag. Thank you. 
sick. Check this out. Check out this view. Here's the bedroom. And then this is just looking out on Monaco. That is actually unreal. Pretty good view of the pool. Pretty good. So we've got the we've got the restaurant here. We've got the beach there, and this is Monaco. All right, off to register event number one. 2K Nolan. Name, nationality, ID number. Just got back to the room. Just finished day one of the 2K and made it through. Pretty decent chips, got like 180K at 4K big blind. Went pretty damn smoothly actually. Lost a hand early, then got in ace 10 suited against ace queen, won that, and then played a little bit of a ridiculous part actually. Let me just sit down and tell you. Yeah, so I doubled up, um, so I was up to about 60,000 chips at 2400 big blind. So like 25 big blinds, then this hand plays out where um, it's folded around to the small blind and he raises to 5100, like basically a minimum raise. A little bit of a defensive raise to be honest when I'm in the big blind. <laughs> I have deuce free off, I'm in there. Um, I have deuce of hearts, three of spades. The flop comes king, four of spades, deuce of spades. So we've got backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. Um, quite sketchy in both of those, uh, but we do have it at bottom pair. He C bets 5k. Is He's like an unknown French guy. I call the flop and the turn pairs the four. He barrels again. Um, it brings backdoor diamonds and he barrels for 11k. And at this point, I actually genuinely thought he would probably check a king, at least some of the time, and didn't really expect him to have that much 4x that he just min raised from the small blind preflop over the maybe ace 4. Decided to call the turn, the river brings the 10 of spades, and now there's 3 spades, and he tanks for a little bit and checks. I feel like there's a somewhat of a chance I have the best hand, but I feel like there's a chance that he's just barreled a hand like Jack 10 of diamonds, like let's turn the flush draw on it and have a pair of 10s. Sometimes I might get him to fold some King X, maybe. After I've called the flop on King 4 deuce with two spades and then called again on the turn, like I really don't have that many bluffs. Like, what could I be bluffing with? Like, do I really have like five free that's like called the turn? Or maybe I could have five, six of diamonds. Most of my other hands are actually just good hands. So it felt like my hand was a little bit too weak to get to showdown. I decided to turn it into a bluff. I shoved the river for like whatever it was, 37, 40k ish. He tanks for a little bit and calls. And I'm like, yeah, good game, good net, good call. I show my hand, do free. Kind of like regretting the decision pretty badly right now. He has called with ace queen high. So <laughs> we've somehow turned bottom pair into a bluff and <laughs> it's worked out. It's actually turned into the most a ridiculously thin value bet. We double up to like 120, we just raise a lot, then approach from the bubble and end of the day with 185k. It's like 1.30 a.m. now. So we straight in the money, locked up 3200 and back at it again back at it again tomorrow what well, i think 12 30. i've got a couple of stars things to do in the morning but it's been kind of a long day traveling and stuff i'm gonna maybe start editing some of this good morning monaco all right day number two in the poker stars championship monaco i was actually supposed to be playing main event um today but i've made day two of the 2k that starts at half 12, but some of you guys might remember this. There used to be a show um, that Stars did called The Big Game, where there's, um, there's a loose cannon qualifier who plays a cash game. Um, he gets a bankroll to play the game, and then he gets to keep any profit he makes at the end of the session. And they're doing a version of that here in Monaco. 
and um, I'm one of the pros who's going to play. So I'm proper looking forward to that. Um, I think that's going to be on Sunday tomorrow. It's 10 for a.m. now, and they need to do some TV interviews and stuff for the show because it's going to be on Channel 4. Kevin Hart, a press conference about to be announced by Stars, I think. It's day after day one of the main event. Unfortunately, I ran up a bit of a stack actually on day one, and then in a shitty call with second pair. I'm going to talk about that later because, no surprise, but I'm running late for the televised cash game. I'm just walking over now. Me, Selena Lynn, Sam Grafton. Jamie Staples, you guys might know him, and a businessman, and then an online qualifier. Very hungover as well. Yeah, I mean, I finished the interview and I walked upstairs and had it on the screen there. Um, and again, heads up, speech play goes. You want to expose your hand to get a read off your opponent, that plays. Uh, if you want to play, if loving you, that. If you want to play, <laughs> he's loving it. So. Uh, <laughs> Best. The camera is there. Yeah. Okay. No, there's uh, Stepping. Stepping. Right. Do you know what? Is it Alexander Stepping? Don't. 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 Don right to play charity event. Um, it's um, a charity that I've been associated with for a few years now. It helps children, mostly in third world countries. A lot of life schools through games. Um, in fact, last year I went to Uganda with PokerStars um, and spent a bit of time there at one of the right to play centers and went to a couple of schools out there. It was really amazing. And I'm really, really behind this charity. So that's the event tonight, which obviously it's fun and hopefully we can make some money for it as well. A less serious event tonight really. Um, yesterday I played the televised cash game which was fucking epic, I had loads of fun. Some really cool hands, I need to get the okay on it because I think they want to like save the result for when it comes out on channel 4, so I may just wait till it airs and then talk about the hands but... Are you dark skills? Okay. Okay, so about to start the charity event but first... Play. Five-time world champion Raymond Barnabelt in a bit of polka darts. Polka darts. Probably much better at polka than darts, I really. Just change. That's good. I feel like this is the section I'm gonna go for. I'm actually gonna aim it here. <laughs> All <laughs> in the green bit. Oh, Vincent went for it. So bad. Ray, how did he get on? Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. He should stick to poker. Uh, I have to give him some lessons later. It's all for charity. No, that's actually not. Okay, alright. First final table. Of the year or? <laughs> yeah, cheers to the first final table. <laughs> Is this the vlog? Yes. Am I on the big vlog? Yeah, you want to say something? No, I don't have anything to say. I'm in the final table. Jake is playing like a champion. <laughs> Any statements to your... Uh, well, we've the final table. I thought we had the chip lead, but I'm just seeing this stack here. And that's looking a bit bigger. What's your but, strategy? Uh, Four more Heineken and play praying. Very, play very <laughs> tight and wait for very big hands in the race. And lose to his boss. <laughs> it's time to know where your priorities lie. Like. Right. <laughs> Dump it off. Can't win. You wouldn't kill Dump it off. Yeah, it's painful. It would be painful. No. Oh. 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 
Everybody I can't has say what I'm thinking. Oh, I don't. I don't. You have more than me. Still not being I'm sure. That's why you want to have all the other hundred entries with the eight and sixteen. That's the dream. Where's the question? Come on. Swing!